Okay, so what's up guys? I'm Pixel Sammy and I'm back with another details tutorial video. So in this particular video, we're going to talk about this particular glitch effect or this particular TV glitch effect in Matt Como's latest Instagram video. Now, in this particular video is pretty amazing and also check out his new clothes lineup. It is pretty awesome. I also purchased one last week, so you guys can purchase one as well. The link to those clothes collection is there in the description too. So the first thing about this particular effort is that you can see a little bit of glitch effort, a little bit of TV glitch lines, a little bit of 16mm film grains, a little bit of 16mm film and a little bit of overlays here and there and that's it. It is pretty much done but it packs so much details in terms of overlays and film grains and stuff that I had to make a video on this particular thing. So I made this particular video based on Final Cut Pro but the concept, the overlays are all applicable in all the other softwares including Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci, any other software out there. It is totally applicable in all the other softwares because there is no internal effect. I am actually applying from Final Cut Pro, I am just using Final Cut Pro as a medium to show this particular effect but all the other things such as the overlays are there in the description below. You have to simply check it out and drag and drop it into your editing software and it is pretty much done. So with that being said, what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy, welcome to this newest video. I hope you guys like this particular video, drop a like, subscribe to this channel and comment down below. A comment actually matters to me a lot. With that being said, let's get started. So the first thing which we are going to do basically is we are going to replicate this particular glitch effect from Matt Comer's video. So in this particular case, I'm going to use Matt Comer's video only. So for this particular case, I'm going to just copy this particular clip on top of each other as a new layer and then I'm going to crop the top layer a little bit like I need to crop the top part and the side part a little bit just like this as you can see. As you can see, I'm cropping down the top part and the right part of this particular clip of the upper clip and then after that, I'm going to increase the scale of the upper clip as you can see right here and move it a little bit to the left hand side just like this and make sure to trim down the upper layer to around say two frames or one frame not more than that you can do more than that but it is totally subjective and totally up to you and then after that what you can do is you can just go to the upper layer and change the opacity to around 50 percent or whatever you feel like is going well with your footage but don't keep it at 100 percent it will not look good so keep it at 50 percent and then copy the clip or maybe Follow the same procedure with another frame and keep on doing this as long as you feel like and that is pretty much done for this particular glitch effect. And then after that we are going to copy this particular TV glitch effect or a TV lines effect which was there in this particular video. So in order to do that I am going to just use some of my glitch overlays which is there in the link below as well. So just download those particular VHS overlays. Just download those overlays and drag them onto this particular footage. After you drag them onto this particular footage, just change the blending mode to screen or lighten. After you change the blending mode to screen or lighten, you can see that all the black parts of the particular video or the overlay is completely disappeared and only the whiter portion or rather only the glitch lines are visible. So just use them, scale it up and down depending on your footage and then just simply place it in, render it out. So the TV glitch part is done on this particular video. So I'm going to use two kinds of TV glitch VHS overlays. So the link to those both clips are there in the description too, just check it out. So after that, follow the same procedure for the second one as well. And then this is the result. So after that, what you can see is we can see a little bit of film overlay like a traditional 16mm film overlay onto this particular clip. Unfortunately all the clips of that particular shot are totally paid. So I have made a free one right here. The link to this particular video or this particular overlay is also there in the description. You guys can definitely check it out. So I'm going to just apply this particular overlay. I know this is not similar to the one Matt Como used but it is very much very much similar like a 75% similar. So after that just drag this particular overlay onto this clip, scale it up maybe keep it a little bit on the corner side and it will look really good and then after that your 16mm film grain is also ready now the next part is what is my own touch to this particular effect i feel that if matt Como used this particular effect it will also make this particular video a lot and lot and lot better this particular overlay is really amazing so after i drag this particular overlay onto this clip and then change the blending mode 
to lighten and then scale it up a little bit this particular clip this particular overlay looks really awesome and with particular sound effects such as a film sound effect or film roll sound effect this particular overlay really shines a lot and this totally looks like a matte como style video although i have edited this particular clip and made this particular overlay this particular clip looks exactly like a matte como style video which i feel is really amazing for this particular overlay and i feel this particular overlay actually stands out a lot so with that being said this is i feel the most important overlay or the best overlay which is applicable to this kind of footage after that after everything is done this is the last step which is by adding 16mm film grains to this particular footage as i have downloaded this clip from instagram it has already a little bit of grains in it but i am giving a little bit more touch to it by giving more film grains or film overlays onto this clip so i have downloaded some film grains from shutterstock which is totally free of cost the link to this particular downloads are there in the description below so just check it out from there and drag the particular overlay onto this clip and then after that just simply change the blending mode to this particular clip to overlay and then reduce the opacity and increase the scale and that is pretty much done after it's pretty much done just render it out add some sound design some sound effects to the glitch to the tv glitch to the lines to the vhs everything and after that you finally your final product is ready and this is the final result so with that means that i hope you guys like this particular video i hope you guys like this particular effect and if you guys like this particular effect and also want all the asset files the link to the asset files are there in the description below so do make sure to check it out and do make sure to comment down below please comment down below because comment actually makes my day trust me it really does so a little bit of support from you guys actually matters a lot so drop a like subscribe to this channel and comment down below and with that being said this is pixel sammy and i'll be back with another video soon Peace out.